Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pop This Presents live from quarantine. And today we're with DDJ. Hi, how are you? I'm so excited to be your guest tonight or today. <laughs> Depends on the hour because I'm, I'm in Europe right now. Yeah, excited to have you. You are, I believe, the first artist that we've ever interviewed uh, from Serbia. That's correct? Yeah, I'm the first artist from Serbia um, actually coming to America, to the US to make a career uh, in music. So I think it's a huge project for me and I'm very brave, my friends say that. <laughs> wow, yeah. No, that's... Because I'm coming for, from a very small country and it's so different than, than the US, you know, and you know, you have to be very brave to, to do that. Yeah, absolutely you do. Um, that's a huge deal and congrats to you. And this is cool because right now we're uh, we're, we're live, uh, but we're remote from each other and uh, you're actually all the way in Serbia right now, which is crazy. It's a nine hour difference from where I am. Yeah, yeah, I know that you're in LA, right? Uh, yeah. So I was in New York in the last three uh, or four years, making my career there, uh, doing songs at a studio, recording videos and everything you know, working on my fashion. And now I'm, I'm back to Serbia at my home, stuck here and waiting for the better, better uh, moments to be back to New York and LA. For so, sure. So are you, a, are you a fan of New York? That's actually where our, where our headquarters are. So I'm normally there. Yeah, I love New York. New York is my second home. So, you know, I'm so sad because I cannot be there right now. Speaking of you and New York, and you mentioned briefly um, fashion. Uh, in addition to music, you are a fashion designer. So that's pretty interesting. And I think uh, you have plans to participate in the next... Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, well, it was always my dream to be a singer, a pop artist and a fashion designer in the same time. And those are my two passions. And I li live for that. So it's, it's my love, my life. So uh, I wanted to, to become a fashion designer. When I was a little girl, I was doing like uh, outfits for my uh, dolls you know, and yeah. it was very excited for me. And then uh, a few years ago, I did first fashion show here in Serbia and people were impressed with my clothes and outfits and everything was sold. So ah. I, I, did, I did two fashion shows more, so three total. And now I have plans to do it in New York at New York Fashion Week soon. So I have big plans about fashion also. Same like music. So I think I'm special and different and unique because I do both things together. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, we talked to a lot of musicians on here before, but you might be the first musician and fashion designer that we've spoken to. Yeah, I, I love that. So I enjoy doing that. I enjoy singing. I, I enjoy uh, creating uh, outfits and everything. So that's, that's my life. <laughs> how, how would you... Uh, describe your aesthetic? Well, I think it's uh, like something like diva style, something that I, I want to use for my videos, for my photo shoots, for, for, for women that are strong, um, they know what I want, you know, the, something that is unique and extra gorgeous, <laughs> how I usually say, and my friends. That's really cool. How Thank did you, you get, how did you get into that? And, and was it, were you doing music? professionally first or was it fashion first well i first started with music uh, in 2010 i started um, my music career i didn't uh, i did one song actually in serbian and i went to a pop festival in serbia i mean serbia is a very small country and we have a small festivals but we we have i did one uh, festival and i won uh, so on that festival, and that, that's how everything started with the song, it's called Strong <laughs> in Serbian. And then, uh, then I did some more videos here in Serbia. And one day I met, I met Lady Gaga. I met wow. her in Vienna. Yeah, she was performing there and I know some of friends. She, we, we have same friends and I met her and she told me, if you want to be a, a pop star in America, you should pack your clothes and, and go there, take the first flight and come to New York. And that's what I did like four uh, years ago. 
I, I went to New York and started my career there. Went to the studio with the famous producers from the start because I wanted everything to be perfect. So uh, I was practicing with them. I had a vocal coach because of my accent and everything, you know, is different when you're coming from Europe. It's, it's so much different. So you have to know and you have to work harder than the, the, uh, the other artists from the U.S. Absolutely. Is, is American music super popular in Serbia or are there like Serbian artists that we might not be familiar with? Like what's like the most popular music? Well, I think uh, American music is popular everywhere worldwide. So uh, yeah, people listen to American music here a lot. And how would you describe your music for, for anybody that hasn't heard you yet? And hopefully they will after this, who might you compare your sound to? I don't know. I don't. I want to be unique. I don't want to compare to anybody. I just yeah. want to. I just want to unique. Yeah, unique. But you know, I listen to J Lo, Madonna. I think Ma- Madonna is my idol. Well, that's cool. I definitely. You know, I got to listen to some of your music, and it definitely had like a lot of uh, dance and pop qualities, which is uh, pretty cool. Definitely super catchy. I guess when it, at least from the stuff that I heard, I might not have noticed that you would have like a very strong accent. Is it tough for you to um, to record completely in English? Do, the, do you have to try and like uh, work on like pronunciation of words or what is that process like? Oh, well, I was, I was like uh, at the beginning, it was hard actually because of my accent. Yeah. And uh, I had a vocal coach at the studio and we were like practicing all the time. For, for days, like for almost a month, we were we were practicing uh, the songs and then we were recording that and the studio and everything went great. So, you know, I can learn everything. That's, that's the more, most important thing for me. Yeah, plus, I mean, your background definitely gives you um, like a unique difference to other artists. So that's very cool. Similar to yeah. Lady Gaga, uh, do you plan on... Uh, making you know big fashion statements um like she does and do you do you plan to design your own let's say you're going to the mtv music video awards or something do you imagine yourself yeah. designing yeah, something yeah 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 yeah. i would love i would love to uh, i actually gave to uh, lady gaga one of my dresses from my collection oh. and a t-shirt yeah, and uh, she, she's, she said, thank you, it's, it looks amazing, and she said that she's going to wear it, so who knows, <laughs> maybe one day I'll do something for Lady Gaga or, you know, for myself or MTV of Arts or... So yeah, you said Mr. Benji, that's the, uh, that's the latest single, love to hear about that. You said that it's been playing um, with a lot of DJs in like Las Vegas and Chicago. Yeah, in Las Vegas night, nightclubs and uh, radio, some radio stations and uh, Chicago. I'm so excited about that. You know, it's I just released the song 10 days ago, so it's going very well. I know in the song preview, um, there's like a, a neat graphic of you in a tub, very glittery. Is that diamonds? Is like a diamond yeah, tub? Diamonds. I love diamonds, so, you know... <laughs> Yeah, because we weren't able to actually re- do the video to make the video in New York or LA or anywhere because yeah. of the situation COVID nineteen, I I figured out to make the animation video of me like a doll, you know, the yeah. DJ doll, yeah, and we made a whole video. So I think it's very interesting and it's different. So people are watching it and they love it. And what, what can folks expect from this song? The song, uh, the song is very interesting. It's about Mr. Benji. Okay. Uh, he, yeah. So I think it's it's really catchy and very interesting for the U.S. market, especially. So I'm trying to to build the U.S. market. So you know, I think this is the first song that that uh, U.S. people like it because before uh, the video with Shaggy. It went well and I think this is the second song that people like in the US. That's I, awesome. So I have big plans. I also did uh, uh, EP so we are waiting for the release soon and also I did uh, one big feature with one uh, female rapper but I cannot tell you 
who is it about yet? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, she's she's uh, pretty popular, and she lives in LA. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> A popular rapper that lives in LA. Yeah. People, sound off in the comments below. Who do you think <laughs> this secret feature is? Yeah, but we're gonna be make a huge video also for that feature. What is and the song about? Gonna... Maybe we can try to. Maybe we'll try to guess from that. Oh, it's about the cars. Okay. The beautiful girls, and I cannot say. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a top secret. Still. A song. <laughs> a... A rapper on a song about cars and beautiful girls. This does not, <laughs> this does not make it any easier <laughs> to, uh, to figure out who it might be. Yeah, you know, but you have to wait. You have to wait. I think it's, it's, it's going to put my career on the next level. So you say that you really like New York. Um, is New York a popular destination from people in your country? And how, what do you think is like the most different between New York and where you are right now? Uh, right now, I'm in Belgrade, Serbia, okay. and I think uh, people from Serbia, they really like New York and they really like U.S. Because U.S. is like a dream for us, you know. It's your country, is, it's special, it has a lot of places to go, a lot of places to do, um, so many big artists. It's, it's huge and we love it. I think uh, all, people, all the people from uh, worldwide, they dream about coming to America. So I was, I started to do uh, like a pilot project for my reality show. How one girl from, uh, from Serbia, from Europe is coming to the US to make a career uh, in music and fashion. So I think he's gonna be interested too. That's awesome. That's way Thank cool. You. A reality TV show. Yeah, I wanted to do something like that. We, we just started, but, you know, because of the situation with COVID-19, we have to wait a little for that. Yeah, yeah, it's put a lot of things on pause. It's one of the things that I was working on in New York and Atlanta, Miami, L.A. We, we were everywhere, actually. Yeah, you've been all I mean, over. That's yeah. cool. That's <laughs> yeah, more places than I've been in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> you should come and visit us here in Serbia, actually. <laughs> I would love to. That would be very cool. We could do Pop Dust yeah. special. Pop Dust Serbian special. Yeah, I'm totally down. <laughs> well, total honor to have you. Um, we will link below to your uh, to the new single, Mr. Benji, and uh, also yeah. to your Instagram for people to check that out. And uh, yeah, uh, DDJ Masks coming soon. You heard it here first, yeah, folks. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. And stay, stay safe, LA, because you are in LA now. So yep. I wish all the best.